Well, good morning, YouTube. Uh, plain old Chuck here. I was been thinking, been watching a bunch of these uh, coffee challenges on here. I think uh, Rob from Bluegrass Bushcraft started it. And Steve and everybody's all joined in and uh, Sean and everybody's doing these coffee challenges now. And I, I've done a couple, not really challenges, but I've I've made more than a couple cups of coffee over time. But uh, I wanted to kind of dispel a, a thing about me. I do like coffee, don't get me wrong. But I am far from a coffee connoisseur. I can drink just about any kind of coffee. I'll Almost. I'm uh, about the only one that I never really cared for much was uh, a, uh, a brand called uh, Hills Brothers. Uh, my parents used to buy it, and I was maybe maybe it was the way they made it. I don't know, but I just never cared for that. But as far as anything else, I don't have that sophisticated palate that a lot of people do. However, uh, I can tell a good cup of coffee when I drink it. If it's not a good cup of coffee, it doesn't mean I won't drink it. But Because I probably will anyway. But, I'm going to try a couple, couple uh, things uh, today. Uh, kind of my own coffee challenge to myself. Um, I think I'm a little crooked here on this camera. I don't know if it's me or the camera. It might be me. Anyway, I have a uh, a ground coffee that I, I bought. My son recommended this coffee at a, at a local coffee shop and said it was really good. Well, I went over and yes, it probably is really, really good. But it was also $40 a bag for a pound bag. I can't do $40 coffee, so uh, I know it lasts a long time, but no, not happening. So I was nibbing around and I found a, uh, I found it at the same name coffee. I don't know if it's certainly not the same coffee, but... Uh, at a, uh, I don't know if it was a Kroger's or a Walmart or something. It's called Jamaica Me Crazy. And it's a, a light roasted coffee. Uh, so I'm going to try that. I'm going to make a pot of that. And then as a comparison, which is not really a true comparison really, but uh, Chris, uh, Carolina Chris, we, me and him, and we're talking about coffees, and uh, and he recommended this uh, instant coffee, which I can't reach. Hold on. Oh. And he said it's really good for an instant. And I'm not going to try to pronounce it, so I'll just show you the label. Oh, maybe there. Anyway, I'm going to make a cup of that too and compare them. Now, I realize instant and perk coffee are two different animals, but. Like I said, I don't really have that sophisticated palate that everybody else has, so I'd be surprised to see how they compare. So I'm going to get set up here and uh, make a pot of one and a cup of the other, and uh, we'll just see what happens. So let me reposition the camera over here, and hopefully this morning sun won't come up and ruin everything. But uh, well, it wouldn't ruin everything. I 
I really like when the sun comes up every morning. But uh, I'll get the camera situated here and uh, we'll start to brewing and see what happens. Okay, for this test, or challenge, here's the other coffee I was telling you about. It's a uh, light roast ground coffee, 100% Arabian coffee, Jamaica me crazy. It's a best choice brand, so whichever that is, if it's Kroger's or uh, Walmart, I'm not really sure, but that's where I found it. But we're going to start... natural spring water of course. I stopped on the way out. I may not have gotten that video up yet, but I will. Smells really good, but then don't all coffee smell good? Let me emphasize, that smells really good. Got my old trusty 502 fired up here. So we'll get this on. and get her to cooking. Now. Get out my way too cool little pot. Fire up our peak one because that was the only other gas stove I had in the trunk. And we'll get that hot and bubbly. my little mini me up here in front so he can see check me out make sure I don't make a mistake oops
forgot something. Okay, what do we need now? We need a cup and some coffee. that I misplaced. Now from what I've read about this, this is a uh, espresso instant coffee. And I've been told that it's fairly strong. So, I'm going to go against my better judgment, something I never do, and actually read the directions of how much to use. And it says a teaspoon in a six ounce cup. It's probably six ounces or so. That's probably a tablespoon. And we'll go about three quarters of one of those. And then we'll just sit back and wait for the magic to happen. Looks like we have steamage over here. Does smell rich. Out of respect for Robert, I'll let it cool a wee little bit. I want to try it without the without any cream or anything first. I usually take cream in my coffee. So but we'll give her a taste test first. while we're waiting on Betsy to perk. Yeah, that, that's pretty smooth. For I expected from what from the people that have uh, commented on this coffee said it was uh, really strong. Uh, doesn't seem very that strong at all to me. I'm thinking. I know Steve likes his coffee strong. I bet you a, a full scoop of that would. Uh, Put you right up there on the clouds, but it tastes really good. It's kind of hard to taste coffee when it's really, really hot, though. I don't have any ice cubes. Well, I do, but they're way over there. Not happening. It's 
tell you what, for an instant coffee, that is really good. Even for a brewed coffee, it's pretty good. Yes, I could see a, I could see where that could find its way in, in your pack for uh, uh, for a quick cup. And you don't feel like brewing and stuff. That uh, heat up some water and you're good to go. Of course, I never really understood that a whole lot because if you got to boil the water for instant coffee. It's only a couple more minutes of perking after it boils and you have brewed coffee. But you do have to clean up afterwards and then get rid of the grounds and carrying uh, filters if you use them and such like that. So I guess it was, I guess it's a it's a convenience. But uh, if I were gonna drink instant coffee, this would probably be the one. Now every now and then I'll do a cup, uh, one of those uh, three and ones or whatever. But being diabetic, I have to. I haven't found any without with artificial sweeteners or anything yet. So uh, I try to get stay away from sugar as much as I can in my coffee while I'm eating my pancakes and maple syrup and uh, Reese cups for lunch and stuff. I try to stay away from the sugar in the coffee. Yeah, that's a really pleasant cup. I'll bring you back when this thing starts. And there she blows. I can see why they say they named that coffee Jamaica Me Crazy. When it first started perking, it was almost green in the glass. It's turning turning brown now though. I cut her down to a slow simmer. We'll give her a couple minutes here. That is a really pleasant cup of coffee. Not at all what I expected. While we're waiting on this perk, I thought I'd relay a little message. I uh, emailed Donna from uh, Dream Creations and Adventures and she answered me and uh, I knew she had had some 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 uh, problems she had uh, hurt her foot or whatever I didn't know to what extent she had fractured her their, her leg right where it connects to the ankle so it's been a really slow recovery it's a kind of a treacherous spot to, to heal but she says she's doing good she's up and about and for all those who've been asking yes she's definitely planning on coming to turkey foot so that's good news uh, still going through I don't know if she, she'll have to go through therapy, but she's uh, been uh, been doing real good. She's been getting around. Says so a little slow. She got a little behind. 
on YouTube and stuff, of course, but uh, she'll catch up. She's a ball of energy. I don't think I don't think a broken ankle can keep her down. So that's good news. It's looking a little better now. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to add a little cream to this. Doesn't really need it, to be honest. While I was waiting on the perk, I went and got my windscreen I have never used. I figured it was a good time to try out all the toys, play with all my toys. Yes, sir, Chris. That's a that's a that's a it's a great instant coffee. Like I say, I'm I'm somewhat surprised all the time when I try these new things because I I hear all the reports or the comments from people saying, you know, well, this is too strong and this is too salty and this is too, and I think it's all up to our our own our own taste buds but like I say I can drink most any coffee but I'll tell you what this is high on the list for an instant that's for sure I usually use the little pastello or whatever it is tubes for instant coffee but uh, That is that it's pretty good. You did me right, Chris. I was thinking I made a mistake. I didn't. It does have a, a tad of a different coloration to it until you put it in a cup. It looks, uh, it looks really light. Smells... Smells really good. Smells a little, what I say, nutty.
cheers to you. Should have got some ice when I was over there getting my windscreen. I could have made this video 10 minutes shorter. Given my sophisticated palate, I can't tell a whole lot of difference. Which is either not so great for this and great for that, or equally pretty good because the first cup was really good too. I'll have to let this cool a little bit to get a true taste test. Sipping through blistered lips kind of alters the taste sometimes. Yeah, it's it's like I said, I'm pretty easily satisfied with coffee, so uh, both of them were were really good. I think this being a light roast would be make for a nice afternoon or evening coffee. It's really smooth and mellow. Not really, uh, doesn't really have any bite to it, which for some people might be a downfall, but for me, it's pretty nice. Like I say, I like I like a strong coffee in the morning and then later in the day a nice light cups sometimes better. There's a bit of difference. Very little though. Very little to me. Uh, maybe I'll bring them one of each to turkey foot and let the connoisseurs see if they could tell a difference. Anyway, that's about it. Both seem really good. I mean, like I say, there's a slight difference. This one's a, a tad, a little tad smoother, but I don't know that I put the right amount of the instant in, and it was to me it was really good the way I made it with like probably the way the instructions say with a teaspoon uh, if you'd like it stronger maybe use a little more but uh, I was well satisfied with it now I gotta finish this pot so I can uh, fire up one of these stoves and fry up some bacon I got hungry I get hungry after I drink coffee I get hungry after I drink Pepsi. I get hungry after I drink Coke. I get hungry after I drink water. I'm usually hungry. Yep. Pretty good. Okay, that's my challenge. I challenged myself. So, uh, hope you've all enjoyed this. And like I say, uh, if you see them on the shelf, give them both a try. They're pretty darn good. So, that's my honest opinion. Talk to y'all later. Y'all be careful. Uh, be kind to one another. And try to behave. Ain't always easy. Get outside and cook something.